In this tutorial, we will see how to add filters to the admin panel read list with PHP CG. So here are the two tables we will use. And as you can see, they are linked by the ID field of the authors table. So what we want to do is actually show a drop down list with the authors names in the admin panel articles read list to allow the end user to choose the author and filter the displayed list. So we're now in the crude generator in articles read list generator, and we'll first add a simple filter to filter the articles list by ID with a drop down list in the admin panel. So let's say article ID then, and we can actually add as many filters as we like. So let's add, for instance, published ad, let's say, okay. And if you please, you can also delete them by clicking on this cross right there. Okay, so let's create now our author's filter. So we click on advanced like this and we see a new form appearing. That's great. So let's open now FlySpeed SQL query to build our query. We drag and drop the article stable like this. Okay, we do the same with the author's one like that. Okay, great. So now we want to show authors' names and first names in the filter drop-down list. So let's check these fields, okay? And the filter value will be the article's author's ID field. So we check it as well. Okay, now we can copy the fields to be used in the select statement. Okay, like that. We come back to the crude generator. Let's put a little label. Let's say author. Okay. So we can paste our fields in the field input like that. Let's remove these spaces like this. Okay. Okay. So now let's copy the values we want to display in the drop down list and paste them right there in the value input. Now they have to be separated by a plus sign, just like that. Okay, perfect. So now the filtered value sent to the read list will be articles author's ID. So we copy it and we paste it right there. Okay, great. So now we will copy the from query with the join, just like that, as you can see. Okay. And we paste it in the SQL from field, as you can see right there. Let's remove the spaces. Okay, perfect. So now Authors is the second column in the admin read list. So we put two and now let's test our query. Okay. So here we have the query, which will be executed. Looks good. As you can see, we have our drop down list of authors right there. So everything looks good. So let's close it and let's validate the changes. Down below submit button, we click. And everything's good. Okay, list generated. Now let's open the admin panel then to see the result. Okay, so as you can see, it seems like we do have our ID simple filter. Let's try it, 45, let's say. Okay, we click filter. Okay, and it looks like it works as expected. That's great, now we cancel. Now we try the author drop down list. Okay, let's say, for instance, this one. Okay, we click filter. And great, looks perfect. Now we see his records. Okay, so everything's good. That's perfect.